Memorial Day ceremonies began this holiday weekend, but in Waikiki, there were also calls to keep a piece of Hawaii history. KITP4's Paul Drews explains. In front of the Waikiki War Memorial Auditorium, a service was held to honor those who died in service to the United States. Freedom is not free, and we all owe a debt of gratitude that our freedom was subsidized by their sacrifice. Including the sacrifice of island residents who died for the U.S. during World War I. Private John Rupert Rowe was the first of Hawaii's sons to give his life in that great war. For the fallen, there were military honors, along with special performances, as well as a reminder by speakers to remember service members' ultimate sacrifice. The service also rallied residents to save this war memorial built to honor the men who died decades ago. Real leaders back in 1920s appropriated funds and they made it happen because they were respectful. For today to say you can't do it and we don't want to do it and it's too expensive is a mockery. Some members of the next generation who have never even been in the auditorium still want to save the aging structure as a sign of respect. We realize that it's for our veterans, you know, we have to, it was dedicated to them and to demolish it without the intent of rebuilding it would just be so disrespectful. While this crowd will always remember the sacrifice of veterans, their fear is that without memorials like the Nonatorium, others will forget. As time goes by and people in general become displaced from a conflict, they lose interest or value of such. If we just reduce it to a rock plaque in the middle of the lawn, it's only going to turn into some place where people will drop their uh, barbecue droppings. They're not even going to look at the plaque. Paul Drews, KITV4 News.